You ever meet one of these assholes that tells you that life is a test? It's usually someone from one of the Abrahamic faiths, you know, Jews, Christians, and Muslims. You ask them about, you know, what's the meaning of life? And they say, life is a test. It's all a test. And if you pass the test, you go to heaven. If you fail the test, you go to hell. Heaven, of course, is a place of unending bliss and happiness. Hell is a place of unending burning and torture and pain and misery. And wherever you go, you're going to be there forever. If you go to heaven, you're going to stay in heaven. If you go to hell, you're going to stay in hell for all eternity. And how do you go to heaven or hell after you die? Well, you see, you're not really your body. There's this thing somewhere inside of you or all around you or somewhere called a soul. And your soul is the source of all your thoughts and all your feelings. Don't believe neuroscientists when they tell you it's in your brain. They're a bunch of liars. It's the soul. And when you die, your soul goes to some entity, usually God, for judgment. And God basically grades your test. And if you get an F, you go to hell. If you get an A, you go to heaven. There's no in-between grades. You can't get like a C plus. They used to have like a purgatory you could go to if you were kind of in the middle, but they got rid of that. A lot of people would ask, you know, is this test fair? Is the test fair? That's a, that's a question that people like to ask. And I think that the test is fair. And I'll give you an example. Like, you got a guy named Bob who, like, beats the shit out of his wife and, like, whips his kids. And, you know, he's an all-around evil fucking cunt. But he prays to Jesus and he asks for forgiveness. So he's going to go to heaven. Unless the Muslims or the Jews or another denomination of Christianity is right, in which case he's going to go to hell. Or, like, think about, uh, like, a little girl, we'll call her Lindsay, with, like, leukemia. And she's going to die. But she's, like, you know, two. So, she's not really had the time to accept a religion, so of course, she's going to go to hell. Unless you're one of the people who believes that God's just going to kind of give her a free pass. In other words, she doesn't even have to take the test. She just goes right to heaven. So, I mean, honestly, if you think about it from that perspective, the people who died as babies, they're the luckiest motherfuckers of all. Or we can take the example of a young Muslim. We'll name him Ahmed. And he's very devout, and he prays daily, and he follows the Koran. So, obviously, he's going to heaven, or hell. It seems like, no matter who you are, and what choices you make, you're either going to go to heaven or to hell, completely arbitrarily, because the actual parameters of the test are never defined, or they are defined, but they're defined in different ways by several different dogmas. So, congratulations on your awesome test, God. This is like if you give a test to a bunch of kindergartners and some of them have like problems like, you know, 2 plus 2 and then others have like multi-part answers about the American Revolution and, you know, like the socio-economic impact of like hemp and all this other stuff and, and the, the kindergartners are all supposed to answer the test and, and, you know, for some of them it's just fucking like a breeze and for others it's really difficult. But hey, it's, it's all fair. It's a fair test. And if God creates all of us, and he ultimately knows our destiny anyway, because he is an all-knowing being, then why would he even bother with the test? Couldn't he just create souls and then look at them on an individual level and say, oh, this one will pass, and just let them right into heaven, not even fuck with this mortality bullshit? Or why even create souls that you know are going to fail the test to begin with? I mean, if you know the future and you completely control the present, why even make souls just to damn them to all eternity if you already know that that's going to be the outcome? Another problem with the test is we're not all created equal. People have different intelligence levels. They have different economic backgrounds. They have different upbringings. They have different health problems. And, and most of all, they have different lifespans. If thought continues to exist beyond your physical body, then why can't you repent after you die? Why do you have to have this 
this test with blinders on. Couldn't you just conceivably like be roasting in hell and then have an epiphany and become worthy of heaven? Why can't you go to heaven then? Why would God want to burn righteous people who have genuinely come to love him and accept Jesus in their heart just because they failed some test? The average life is like, what, 76 years? So someone didn't pass this test in 76 years, so they're doomed to an eternity of hellfire? I also have some questions about heaven and hell. I mean, let me ask you this. I don't know about you guys, but I hate fucking people. If heaven is full of people, that doesn't sound much like heaven to me. And also, if my cognition is going to survive my death, then how can I have eternal bliss? Because I'm not prone to eternal bliss. If you add eternal bliss to the paradigm of TJ, it's no longer TJ. It's someone else. It's some other person that really has nothing to do with me that's experiencing eternal bliss, or eternal suffering for that matter. If God really wanted to give us a test, to decide whether or not we're worthy of heaven and hell, wouldn't it make more sense if we were, all, we were all born roughly equal to one another, if we all had the same basic rights and opportunities and intelligence level and everything else? Wouldn't that be a lot more reasonable of a test? But then again, if we were all the same, what would be the purpose of taking a test in the first place? You know everyone's going to do the same on the test. There's no fucking point in this test, no matter how the fuck you flip it around and look at it. God, you have failed my test. You have failed the test of making any fucking sense. I damn you to hell. Burn, motherfucker. Burn.